What is up, YouTube and the internet? This is Joe on day five. All right, we got some more lost stuff in today. Start off with the prize winner so far. Royal Jelly, a super food. Now, you might be asking yourself, how did you get this high-quality, non-expired product for free? Well, I'll tell you how I got it for free. This was a sample sent in to the co-op wellness department. And one of the people in wellness offered it to me because they knew about my challenge. How thoughtful was that? This is prime free food right here. If you are not a vegan, that is. All right. Let's see. 20 calories a teaspoon. Not bad. Anything interesting here? Complex nutritional profile, nucleotides, polyphenols, and unique organic acids. All right. Started off with that. Then at lunch today, I drank some of this cultured goat milk cafe. Very delicious. The fruit flavor really goes a long way with uh, plain uh, fermented dairy products. Plain ones are hit or miss. You just kind of have to like that uh, from the teat taste. And if you have some uh, fruit flavor, it usually cuts the culture. It cuts the taste. It's a more palatable one for some people. All okay, right, got a little floppy bunch of cilantro, a little wilted in some ways. Looks like someone was nice to leave that out there. A single radish. All right. Let's see here. Nice radish. The greens must have been bad. Probably give that a rinse off. Two mangoes. Now, what's wrong with these mangoes? Well, looks like they're a little bruised. They did come all the way from the USA. What does that say? Ava May? Yeah, I can't read that. Ava's May brand. Yep. Two of them here, they're just both a little soft, a little discolored, uh, had a couple of bruises. I was surprised to find mangoes in the back. You hardly ever find a decent looking mango because, you know, a lot of the time when they go back there, they're just simply not edible. They're just, you just have to know better. These ones might be good. Mangoes are super delicious, super good for the body, good for inflammation. A lot of people take inflammation pills that are usually like pineapple enzymes or mango enzymes, papaya enzymes, something like that. All right, and someone in the deli department gave me the last of the golden beets and kale salad. Yeah, they did pack it today. There was just a little bit left. Looks like a nice mix of good things. Hemp seeds, quality product. You can see them sticking to the side there. Golden beets, very delicious, raw or cooked. And the jackpot of them all, some figs. Got some Sierra green figs, found another one on my way out here. They just look a little uh, discolored, maybe a little mold, got to rinse them off, got to peel them or something. And a black mission fig here, looks super delicious. What's wrong with this one? Oh, ooh, when someone was putting it in the paper wax card, it must have hit the edge. They're being careful. They're just slamming it in there. All righty here. All righty. And a leak. Can't miss that. Oop. 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 Oh, there it is. All right. Nice big leak here. My roommate also works at the co-op, and she brought back some bell peppers for stuffing and some more bruised applesauce making apples. Excellent. A lot of stuff to work with here. How am I going to eat all this food? At the rate this is going, I might have to eat for free forever. But at the same time, it's good to pay money and support your local farms. Support your local rancher. Support your local business owner. Yeah. Have a good night and stay safe out there.